This is intended for over 18s. Please gamble responsibly and when the fun stops, stop. Now you post a, a video of a epic big win on so and so and so and it's like just over a thousand X people like, yeah, that that's not that's not a massive big win. It's like the, the benchmarks <clears throat> for what is what is big, you know, and what is big, what is epic, what's amazing. It's kind of like it's, I feel that's really personal to the I think individual. It's perspective, yeah, it's in what, perspective. How much have you to... put in? Are you happy with it? The benchmark you... of what is really big is personal to the individual. It's very I mean, right. Right. What Where are you going? That now? make it into a soundbite somewhere. Welcome back, everyone, to our fourth podcast, Dream Spin Studios, in association with SBC Media and Affiliate Leaders. Um, today, we have a very special guest, our one and own Will. No. I'm here. I'm oh, here. I thought that was my big intro there. <laughs> big intro. <laughs> I was ready. Our, our streamer from Fruity Slots, one and only Scotty. Which cam I'm this camera. Say that hi camera. to the people. Hello, people. So <laughs> I've been instructed, the, the, the legendary voices here, I need to make sure I keep the microphone in front of me here because I have a tendency yeah. to wander in arms and, you know, like get into a story and push the mic away. And This is going to be quite different to streaming where you've got um, slots in front. Of very you. different. I'm, I'm already looking for something to, to read and, and press and I don't know where I am. So no thing. live chat. So much room. No slots. Would it have been easier if we had a slot on the go in the background? Yeah. We... I mean, there's a little screen there. Even if we just ran something on this Rainbow Riches, anything on the screen, just so I can watch it while I'm talking. You would not pick Rainbow Riches. First, first slot that came to my head. Is go. that not the first slot everybody plays when they play slots? Rainbow Riches. Let's talk about that. Okay, so what's this session going to be about? This is going to be from streaming Fruity Slots to Studio. So we can talk very much about streaming and how we got into it and the channels and then and go on to be a studio. But yeah, that, that is a good start. Good introduction. First slot you ever played or how did you get into slots and how did you find Fruity oh, Slots? Um, so getting into slots, I would say... Just being on the on the football scene, you know, with the lads in the pub after football, um, just your classic, like, well, back when I was 18, it was, I mean, 25p. Will will know a lot about more about this, obviously. 25p fruities, uh, the deal or no deals, even quiz machines. You remember the old quiz machines where yeah. you used to put 50p in and try and win Cluedo? So the first one I ever played, put 50p in, and I played Cluedo. And you had to go around the board and answer questions. And then if you answered enough questions, you got to like the guessing round where you could guess, you know, who did it with what in what room. So just a random, oh, I'll just pick that, that, that. And it went tick, 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 50 pound jackpot. I'm like, well, this was very, very easy. This is easy. Everyone starts with a win. Everybody's, yeah. And I'm like, well, maybe, I, maybe I'm a quiz machine master, you know? And then Probably. that was, that was the only money I ever took out of a quiz machine. Never, ever did I win anything else again. Um, but yeah, with the lads in the pub after football, we'd all go, you know, quids in on the machine. Oh, it's dropping. Right, go get 20 change. That's sort of the way I got into it. And then the transition online was um, just after I'd won a bet. And then you had a few quid left over in your betting account. You'd be like, oh, I'll try and look on the slots. But back then there wasn't too many slots. To, what am I doing with my hand, by the way? There wasn't too many slots to choose from. So for me, it was Rainbow Riches. Uh Kitty Glitter, you know about my my so. obsession with Kitty Glitter. Is it IGT? Kitty IGT, Glitter? yeah. And Rainbow Rich is now Light and Wonder. Um, what else? Like I mean, really, so think really. Back, like so, you know, that's that's an interesting one to pick up on because, like, I just I'm just thinking. So it starts off you're playing socially in in a pub yeah. with your mates, all sort of quids in on a, on a on a fruit machine, everything yeah. like that. And then, you know, it's moved on because this is a nice sort of a broader point about the about the industry as a whole. It moves on. Then all of a sudden you've you've got some money left over in a betting account and you're choosing to play a slot on your own. It's a little bit different. So like Yeah. It it, it stems from like you say, like if I even like if I win a bet, not when I lose a bet, because I only used to bet on like football accumulators. More recently, it's only darts, really, to be honest. But if I won and I'd withdrew like say if I won fifty five quid, I'd withdraw fifty. And I'd leave myself a fiver to play around with on the slots and see if I could try and build Very it back. Very responsible. You know, try and build it back up. Um, and then in in terms of like streaming and watching streamers online, I came across it like, I didn't mean to come across it. Does that make any sense? I was, I was in the bookies. I was on my way home from work one day and I was in the bookies. And again, I think I just maybe put a bet on the football or something because I didn't use... I didn't use like online accounts a lot because I was buying a house and everything. So I got to the bookies and I put a bit on the horses or the football on that and I had a bit of change in my pocket and I put it on in the fob team. I played cops and robbers and 
I think I was only on like 20, 20 piece steak or something. And like, I think it was even my first spin. It dropped in the, the swag bags and it gave me the gold pot, which was 500 quid. So to me, 500 quid, I was like, oh my, like, how has this happened? And I wonder if this has ever happened to anybody else. So the, I was so like inquisitive. YouTube was fairly new back then as well. It wasn't like a massive thing. So typing in on YouTube. Wait, hold on. We're not that old. Well, no, but you go, we're going back to... Yeah, yeah, we didn't get into this 20 years ago. No, but... but I know what you mean. YouTube, you know what I mean? Like, YouTube has progressed a lot yeah, in the last few years, like, a lot. Um, so, yeah, we might only be going back sort of six or seven years. Um, so I'll type in on YouTube, big win on... Um, has Cops anyone Cops ever and won on Cops and Robbers? You talked yeah, like, about Yeah, has anyone ever won on Cops and Robbers? Ever. Cops and Robbers, jackpot, anything? And it was Stop and Step that came up. And I was like, oh, so somebody has, you know, won the jackpot on this before. And then... As you do on YouTube, you fall into a world of wow, like what is what's, what's this? going on here? Yeah, I'm, all I'm, these channels, I mean, all these cameras, that was it. Yeah. And then I came across you with a, a chair on your head. That couldn't have been me. It was definitely you. Definitely, was, I think you had pants on your head at one minute, yeah. then a chair, and I was like, Let's okay, stick this, with a chair. this is something a, I can get on board better. with. Yeah. Um. So that that's sort of how I found more of the online slots, transitioning from playing in the pub fruities to the quiz machines to oh, I've won a bit, bit of money left over to then all of a sudden wow, this world of of gambling online has like opened up to me. And it, I think it's the excitement of seeing other people win is just as exciting as winning myself, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I think that's really important, actually, because that actually builds upon what we have as a community. Correct. It's that point of a, a com comparative, you, you know, it's like, a, I've had a great win. I want to compare that to see. So like the idea, I'm going to look that up on YouTube and see if there's any other footage of, of people getting similar size wins. I want to gauge my experience against other people. I think like, you know, as streamers, that's obviously what we're providing. You know, we, we, we a yeah. lot of time people will see the biggest wins that they've ever seen yeah. on, on, on uh, platforms such as YouTube and Kick and Twitch. But no, I mean, forums are literally one of the things we do through streaming is, you know, working with game providers maybe even on a game launch is basically getting our community to post their, their biggest wins, mm. um, you know, within our forum. And yeah, you, you do see when we first started going back to like seven years ago and you were watching us, um, you know, a big win was a hundred X, 200 X, 300 X is big. Yeah. 500 X is Rare. massive. A thousand X is like, Oh my God, a thousand X. Like the, the rarest, you got to remember bonus buys weren't a thing then. So you were having to spin, spin in a, a thousand X win, which I mean, even now is is quite rare. Very rare to but land that in the base game on the games rare. with with the volatility as the were. It was now it's seen every stream, every stream pretty much. Yeah, it does help with yes, sorry. It does help with It does help with super buys, and you can do all yeah. that. So it's sort of limited people's perspective to how big a thousand X really is. Yeah, but the games have massively changed. I mean, Correct. we um. One of the things we did as a channel um, about five years ago, and it, it's it's how you got on board, is mm. um, we w we wanted to sort of expand <clears throat> the channel. It was me and Jamie who started it, and we wanted to bring in other streamers. So in in theory, if people didn't like watching me or didn't like Jamie, there could be someone else that they might relate to. And we wanted sort of different personalities, different characters, which actually looking back is quite tough because... People don't view a YouTube channel as a TV channel where they say, okay, I'm not watching this program, but on Tuesday night, I'll watch that program. Mm. A channel is very much has its own identity. So we probably would have done better actually trying to have more people that aligned with us, hence why you came in and, and, and was one of the only ones to stick. But going back, the reason why I bring that up is at the time, one of the incentives we brought in for the other streamers was like, well, if you get 200x win, you know, and we post on YouTube, we might give you X. And if you get 500 X, because we knew that would relate to views, you might get Y. And like, we literally had a criteria and, and you know, 100 X made it in there. Yeah. Or mm. thousand X. We, we didn't even talk about past the thousand X, but now thinking about well, it, like if, if we posted a win now on YouTube, massive win, 300 X, like we'd probably get a lot of comments that say that's not a big win. Yeah, but you yeah. get it now though. If you go back to, let's let, let's rewind five years ago. If you posted a big win, and you, you know, your, your title is epic big win on so-and-so, so-and-so. And it was 400X people were like, oh my God, that's amazing. Well played, big win, epic. And now you post a, a video of a epic big win on so-and-so, so-and-so. And it's like just over a thousand X people are like, yeah, that that's not, that's not a massive big win. It's like- Clickbait. Yeah, it is. It is, a, it yeah. is an epic big win. You're just blinded by the bonus buys that can get done where you can win 10,000, 20,000 X. 
Yeah, this is really interesting because obviously, like the, the benchmarks for what is what is big, you know, and what is big, what is epic, what's amazing. It's kind of like it's, I feel that's really personal to the I think individual. It's perspective, yeah, it's in what, perspective. How much have you put in? Are you happy with it? The benchmark you, of what is really big is personal to the individual. It's very I mean, right. Right. What a soundbite. Going, that man? make it into a soundbite somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've impressed many people with what I say is big. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's always that big debate. <laughs> Disclosure. Also, I have as well. <laughs> there we go. Um, Okay, we've gone off. Um, <laughs> you know what, as you were saying, yes, that is that is a tough one. That is a, a yeah, and we one. and sometimes we get feedback, don't we? I mean, so like recently, like you know, I'll put up a big win, and then people will be like, "That's not even that's not even big. or you or the bonus buy kind of pollutes this. We've talked about this, yeah, you know, especially when like, it buys over a thousand extra buy. Yeah, you know? and then you're getting eleven hundred back. So you've made one point one. You've you've returned one point one on your money. Uh, you know, but like as with everything, you know, it's usually about like it's, it's subjective. It's about the personal experience. You're not expecting the same outcome if you're doing a large individual bet. You yeah. may be happy to double your money, very happy, and it can still be worth a, a huge amount. Yeah, I mean, we've skipped ahead a little bit in terms of you know how streaming has evolved or what the future looks like. But actually, on on that subject of a big win, when you actually are playing a game and mm. you get a hundred x win, maybe a two hundred x. Lots of providers now have animations that clock up and the dialogue or the text that will change from, it'll start at big win and then it'll go to epic win or massive win or the super and, you know, all the way up. It might have four stages, sometimes five. And actually what's interesting is those benchmarks are 10x to 20 to 40 or 50. Yeah. And once you get past 100x, you're almost at the max. Not not in terms of max win, but you're at the top of what a provider will, will say is will an, epic, label. an epic big win. Yeah, yeah. And it, it's it's not a benchmark of 50, 100, 500, 1,000. And I remember, you know, the reason I bring this up is with our first game speaking to you about what those levels are. And, and you've been like, no, 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 they're way lower. And I'm like, I was thinking, really? And then we actually did research and looked at games. And it's surprising to see. So it depends on provider again, though, yeah. doesn't it? So some games you play, you can get like... A 10x will indicate a, an animation of big win. Yeah. And sometimes you're like, oh, it's done that animation for that. You know, but then some games it's like 50x, they're classing as a big win. So again, it just depends on the game and it depends on the provider. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's definitely a challenge really coming into because also it kind of depends upon the game as well. You know, if the game frequently gives out, you know, it's quite a soft game, or it frequently gives out like a lot of you know, 10, 20 X wins mm. that doesn't really ever go past that, then, you know, it would obviously be a challenge to kind of get those thresholds right. But like, I kind of think the way that like, you know, it, it, it kind of, as you've said before, the industry is evolving, the, the way that games are set out and to be played from the base game yeah. has definitely evolved because it's because a lot of providers are trying to accommodate the bonus buy as well. And there has been a bit of a thing, haven't they? And there's been a, a regulatory thing with regard to not celebrating wins that are yes. below the, uh, you know, the better amount. Mm. Yeah, which makes a lot of sense. Or having a, a, a bonus that returns zero X and having the display message say, Well done. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Congratulations. You won congratulations, yeah. you've won nothing. So, yeah. I, I much prefer an unlucky try again than a congratulations, you have won zero. It's like, oh, no. Yeah. That's an interesting one, actually, because obviously, like, I mean, I want to I wanna, like leverage a little bit of like Scotty's. Because Scotty, I feel like he really gets the audience, don't you? I feel like you're very much, more so than myself. I think I, you're I really in touch get with the what, audience because I, I was you, the audience. Well, that, you know, yeah, I mean, we should talk about that a little you know. bit, actually. You, <clears> so, so I, I brought it up. How, how you got involved, but just to backtrack a bit, we decided to expand and you were you were basically one of our viewers. You were a moderator on the channel. So we yep. built up um level of relationship and got to know you outside, you know, outside of you starting to stream on the channel. We we did a few meetups with our mods and viewers as well. And and things went from there. And obviously, you know, seven well, let's say seven years, how many years now? Streaming um, with us? Over five, I think. Over five yeah, years yeah. later. Um, massive part of the channel. So yeah, sorry to butt in. That's that's obviously how we met and, and five years down the line, but you're saying... Obviously... Well, I, I'm, I'm thinking like, you know, because he... But I feel that he, you really understand you because you listen all the time to feedback. So about these sort of things, about, you know, one thing that we've talked about recently is kind of like the zero X bonus. And like we've just touched on it there. And we talk, and whenever we get questions about our, our game that's coming out, they'll be like, can it do a zero X bonus? That really bothers people. And we've talked about it before. How do you think, how do you feel about like, you know, <clears throat> games that will return like a zero X bonus? And how do you feel our audience figures that feels about that, you know, that sort of scenario? So there's, there's two ways it can go. So you can answer this from my perspective because I know how slots work. And I know that if you are to get epic big wins, and I'm talking, you know, 100X to 5,000X, 
for example, right? You've got to have a couple of zero X bonuses in there. You've got to have some wow two X, wow three X. Oh. Yeah, but hold on, just to, um, just to button. Let's let's make the distinction between very bad one two five X. Yes, so, and an actual zero X. Yeah, so you're right. To to give massive wins, you need crap bonuses. Correct. Yeah. But but to answer the actual zero, you're, you're talking about the zero. Well, I mean, like right? it's interesting about. I don't know. I mean, like I want. Uh, well, I don't know what I, you I feel about all of it. Yeah. I, but I mean, if I'm X. coming in terms of a, a general slot player, and I'm coming in as a viewer, I'm coming in as I just play slots myself. I'm thinking, I know slots enough so that when I get a zero X, I'm like, wow, that was a bad bonus. But I know it can do better because I've had a 10X, 20X, 50X in terms of what. So you're you're not whilst you're very disappointed. Extremely you're not, disappointed. You're not like I'm not playing the game again. Turned off. No, because it. It, yeah. it like you should always play slots for fun, all right? And if you're not having fun, you shouldn't be playing slots. So if you get a zero X, you should be able to have the ability to laugh and go, oh wow. It's not gonna be fun though. Yeah, not fun. <laughs> yeah. When you get the zero X, you're a bit like, wow, that's that was bad. You'd much rather win a thousand X, obviously. But when you're getting the zero X's, you've got to laugh and go, wow, that was a bad one. Maybe the next one might be a little bit better. Or, you know, like I've had hundreds of zero X bonuses. It yeah. happens. But then I know. Oh right, well I have seen people win two, three, four thousand X on this game. I know it can do it. That was just a bad bonus. But in order to get those big wins, you are gonna get bonuses that are really, really poor. One of the things that I often throw back at people when they say you should never be able to do a zero X bonus is the fact that like people also really, really it's very important to people that the games do not feel contrived and they do feel Correct. genuinely random. Yeah. And I'm like, well, okay, well, I mean, you know, part of it being part of the bonus being genuinely random. You know, and a lot of the time, I mean, it's not that it can't be, you know, still mm. meet all the requirements and regulations and still have a minimum X. Of course it can. Correct. But, but like, if you're not, you know, if you strip it down more and the games, to me, the games which feel at their most random, I'm talking about games from like Novomatic and um, Gamma Mat and some of the European yeah. brands, they really do feel like every single spin could do everything, could do nothing. Yeah. You know, like those games one minute you do get zero dead, X's. You get 10 dead spins and then you get five scatters and whoa, boof, there you go. Yeah. Like, you literally, there's no lead up to it. There's no build up. Like, every spin feels well. Anything could, could happen. Could do anything. I, th anything. I, th I think you mentioned one of the key points. Our, our community, or I think a lot of viewers in general, really like the random element. Yeah. They don't, whilst mm. they know that, you know, bonuses <clears> may be <throat> predetermined or contrived. You don't want to feel it. So whilst they say no bonus should be able to do a zero X, if you then say, okay, our game can't do it, you're already to an extent, you know, contriving or restricting elements yeah. of it. So actually, yeah. whilst that's exactly the point I'm yeah, making. We've yeah. made a very big effort to make our bad bonuses playable and and, and minimize the absolute zeros. But yeah. it can happen mm, because, yeah. you know, that's the product of trying to make it as ra or feel as random as possible. The thing is, I think if you put a, like, you know, some games we know out there have what's called like a bonus guarantee. I know some yeah. providers call them different things. Let's say if you get 10 free spins and the bonus guarantee is, let's, let's just say 10x as an example. If you're on spin seven and you know you haven't got a win or you've got, or you've won one X, you sort of know deep down them last three spins are going to be either dead spins or you're going to win sort of anything below 10x because you know it's going to be bonus guarantee you know whenever it's do quite you have, a rare whenever um, do you have spins left it's quite a rare it, game you, you know you're looking at primal which does it quite well not many games have that effect where primal megways i'm talking about it'll where, reset whereby you're 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 on the eighth spin mm. and actually you're actually praying for no win you don't yeah. want to win correct no. because, because you want that, the that game to, has yeah. quite a lot of big win potential correct it has a lot of volatility in that game yeah so i think that was one of the first slots i'd say that has that volatility so i think it's a really nice mechanic yeah, where, so do I. where they good. have that guarantee where you're mm. actually thinking you want big wins big wins I want big five wins more spins. and then so you get 10 10 free spins you want big win big win big win on spin five or six, you're like, no win, no win, no yeah, win. I want to get the full so, yeah. reset. I want to so get the full it, reset. It yeah. literally resets. Yeah. Is it 10 or five? Full, no, it's 10, full. Yeah, it will reset and give you the full amount of 10. Full amount. Yeah, two yeah, scatters yeah, will give you another, is it five but spins? I mean, yeah. the thing is, it's all it's all balanced within within the bonus as a whole, you, you know, you know, from a mathematical perspective. You, and had, it's to, still, you had to bring up math. It's maths, still, but it's still maths, random. Maths. You, you know, it's not like, it's not like one is more... Um, compliant than the other it's still random they still it still meets all the legislation yeah. requirements but obviously yeah. the experience is very different and like it's really important i think you know you obviously get the feedback from like what are, what the viewers are saying and you hear it and i feel like you really understand it so like I, you know it's really interesting to hear what you have to say um, yeah about you know the feedback from them as well i don't in general my my you know preference is i don't like bonus guarantees at all i quite liked it in in primal how they did it because mm. that game felt quite different 
But in general, a little like, oh, we're just going to top it up. It's like, nah, I'd rather... Than the it, Raging Rhino example is a little bit kind of like, it does feel like a bit of a... It's a I, bit of a here yeah, you go. Yeah. It's actually, a token, a token, yeah. Yeah, I'd rather have that randomness Sloppy. of a bad bonus or a really good bonus. I think from I the, from the stream gesture. inside of it, from what I can gather from the community is a lot of people don't like the Zero X bonuses. Like you get the comments, that shouldn't be allowed. Yeah, that's How what can it do about, yeah. that? How that is illegal. You well, know, let's, yeah. let's, especially the games that are so hard to board. Yeah, so, make, so let's talk about you know. that in particular, how streaming's yeah. evolved. So, you know, five, six years ago when you started streaming, mm -hmm. what would you say were the main providers back then and games we were playing on stream? I would say big time gaming. Yeah. Uh, you had your Bonanza, you had your Danger High Voltage. Well, you say that when you first started, when they, first were, started they were streaming. just coming They were just they were, coming to the scene because yeah. when they did a launch, that was a big thing and that was every three or four months. Right. So even before that, so I remember when I, I I can't go before because when I started streaming, yeah, you, they you were are, out. You did have it, but you had the likes of the playing goes with loads Correct. of games. So you had your book and dead, your, your book and dead. You your didn't book have book and dead, book and dead, book and dead. There was no like rise of Merlin, anything like that. It was it was book of dead. It was micro gamings and loads of games. We're micro playing all Buster of those. Bank. Um, yeah, there was some thunder kick. Immortal Romance. There yeah. was yeah thunder kick. There wasn't. There was only flame buster. Thing. So if we look at those types of games, I mean, they they were, you know, you were bonusing them one in, you know, 100, 150 spins. Yeah. To one. So it's it's quite different, you know, getting a, a small one, zero X, you can be bonusing them more frequently. Now, when we fast forward in the volatility, mm. a zero X can be a lot more painful if you're spinning 400 spins, 500 Correct. spins for a bonus. Yeah. When we first started streaming i mean going that many spins without a bonus was, was more red. red tiger they were they I were very in. popular back then weren't yeah, they, they five were. years ago i yeah. want to jump in because i think like we we have to be careful not to like positively skew like the way that we remember stuff danger high voltage great game but is the average value of that bonus is like 65 70 x mm. we rem we don't people forget quite how often it does a very forgettable 20 30 x we mm. remember the huge ones but the you know the value is actually nowhere near the 100 i mean and i think that's the value of the because when the bonus buys really became a thing they became like a commonality and it's like okay every bonus is going to be worth 100 x i think a lot of people kind of have in their own mind slot bonus is worth 100 x and some of these games that have been very very popular like the ones that we're talking about there i don't think that's always the case i think the value is actually lower it is lower but that's in some ways a slightly different point because i was going to fast forward and say you know, five five years ago to where we are now, especially with our community in the UK, we don't have quick spins anymore. Nope. We don't mm -hmm. even have auto spins anymore and we don't have bonus buys. So actually for someone to sit there and click away for 40 minutes yep. on, on a, you know, it's slower to then get the zero X, it pains mm. them a lot more. We weren't having the same amount of people, I feel, and Scotty, you, you tell me because you're seeing it more. I don't feel we were having the same amount of people saying three years ago when they could do auto spins and quick spins, zero X's are terrible. I think it hurts them a lot more now in the UK. Yeah, I would say so, yeah. And I think that's their experience. I, and I think if yeah. you look at one of the most popular games over the last few years, Big Bass uh, Bonanza has a very low bonus frequency. It comes in oh, like yeah. about one in every 110, 110. Mm. 15 spins, you know, and it's really, really popular. And people know they uh, can go 100 spins on good chance of a bonus. The yeah. thing is, the bonus buy has ruined people's perspective on what a good bonus is. So if you get a bonus now on a game that has a bonus buy, you are looking and thinking, all right, cost 100x to bonus. I'm sort of expecting around 100x back on yeah, the bonus. Yeah. And when you don't get 100x back on the bonus, people go, ah, oh, that's a terrible bonus. Like, yeah. Well, no, that's like 50, 60 X is probably your average yep. bonus yeah, because if you're, you're going to get that on there. bonus on stream without a buy, if, if you just triggered that yeah. and you get 40, 50 X, you're not, you're not having a pop at the game. So no, much. no, you're like, you are right, looking back and thinking a lot of the time you aren't looking back and being like, I've done X amount of spins. You're not working it out mathematically, you know, you yeah. mean like, okay. I mean, and a lot of the time, mm. you know, think about a game where with a low bonus frequency, like Big Bass Bonanza, yeah. you might get a couple of bonuses. This stream is special. not sponsored by Big Bass Bonanza. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, it, but other games, you know, think about when I mean, we talked about Bonanza that was super popular back then, really low bonus frequency. I can't 600. remember. Yeah. I mean, is that what it is? crazy oh, difficult right. to land a bonus yeah. on it, you know, yeah. but quite a soft base game. And so as much as like, it's not ruining you, you could get lost in the base game, yeah. play it for hours and yeah, but that, still be a little bit in front. Yeah. I mean, I can still enjoy playing Bonanza even now and just the base game, Max Megaways and, you know, um, gems all the way across it. Like it's still exciting to me. I can still play that game for hours on end. 
I have actually got back into it on, on stream now. Like, I'll just sit and play Bonanza for 15 minutes. Guys, I'm just going to the toilet. Leave Bonanza spinning. Yeah. People think I'm at the toilet. I'm just sat there. You're just sat watching. there. You just turn the I'm camera off. Bonanza with chilling a beer. Out. Like, this, is, this is lush, this. I love it. I do, honestly. Yeah. I think that, like, you know, well, that underlines it. There's no single approach that's working, like, across the board within the industry with no. these things. Like, lots of different sort of, like, setups and expectations. It kind of aligns with what the game what the game is, the theme of the game, the way that it, the mechanics play Absolutely. out. Absolutely. Absolutely. I always used to think before streaming, before I even knew streaming was a thing, I always used to think, I didn't even know what an X was, like, 1X, 10X. <laughs> what is an X? Like, I always used to think, whatever my bet was, yeah, times that by 100, and if I can get half that back on that bonus, that's a good bonus. So if I'm playing on 50p stake and I get a bonus on, for example, uh, Witch Upon a Jackpot, that was quite a big game before yeah. I was streaming, and I got the, uh, I don't know, picking bonus or something, and then that took me into another bonus, and I got back 25 beans. I'm like, what? Beans. 25 yeah. beans. Oh, that's, nice. not, you know, that's not Fake bad. beans. Yeah, I was happy with it. I was like, 25 beans, that's sort of half of 50, and that's sort of how I'd gauge it. And then if I was winning, I'd be like, oh, I'm up to a quid. And I've just got a bonus on something. I've won 50. I'm like, wow, this is sort of good. But again, the, the the high volatility of games and how they are now have sort of ruined your perspective on what a big win is. And again, like Will said before, it depends on the player. It depends on what, you know, what their budget is or what they think a big win is to what I think a big win is. What's your take then? Because you, you brought it up a few times on, you know, people's perspective maybe of bonus buys. Mm. Um, you know, what's your view on them? And especially some of the super bonus buys and then mega super bonus buys. And when I say mega super <coughs> bonus buys, I'm talking about, let's say your average bonus buy is between 70 to 100x, mm -hmm. super bonus buy being two or 300x, mm -hmm. and then some, we, we know they exist 500x plus mm -hmm. up to 1000x. You know, what? what's your view on, that is a big question because there's lots of different yeah, but it's ranges very there, easy. But... It's very easy to answer because again, I can answer it as a player. I can answer it as just your average player. Or yeah, I can let's talk it about it outside streaming. Outside streaming. We, we, we know for streaming, viewers want to see action. Yeah. And at the end of the day, if you're buying a bonus for a thousand X, you are going to see some action in that bonus. Even if you Correct. don't even return half your money back, you, you know, which you, is got a, you know something exciting is going to happen, mm. whether it pay like 70 back off a 200 buy on 20p state, we're talking like outside of UK, then you've won back 500x, which is half your buy, but it's still a big win. Does that make any sense? Yeah, it correct. Makes sense. So, so yeah, so outside outside what the viewers want to see as a player, what, what's your thoughts on on the bonus buys and, and you know, um, how extreme some of them can So get? like, I could, I could probably say that if I wasn't streaming and just being a typical player, I would probably leave Super buys well alone. I wouldn't. But would be... you? Would you like them so in the UK? Oh yeah, as Go a on, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, because at, in, in a, if we're talking RTP wise, if you're looking at the game and thinking, well, the RTP, if anything, might be a little bit higher buying a bonus than it would be spinning in the base game and getting a bonus that way. Would I jump straight for the bonus buy option? No. If a game had a bonus buy, the way that you know back when you could do bonus buys in the UK, what I would do first is. If I loaded up a game, I would first thing I'd do is buy the bonus to right, see just to get a feel for just to get a is. feel if I liked the bonus or not. So if I got it, I buy the bonus. For example, I'm in, I'll say a fruit party. I'll buy a fruit party bonus on minimum steak. Did I like it? Yes, I, I enjoyed that. Am I going to now play it? Yeah, I am. But if then I bought the bonus and I thought, wow, that was terrible. I didn't really like that game. Then I'd just be straight off. So it. you do I'd the jump reverse thing. You want to go straight so in, straight see what the bonus, bonus is about because most games. Of, yep. obviously centered around a as bonus. a player you are playing for the bonus Most so if the, the option time, yeah. is to go straight into the bonus i would always opt for that first okay did i like that bonus yes i'm going to play that game again did i like that bonus no that was boring okay next game and i'd jump through like that and when i found a game that i liked i'd be like oh yeah i'm going to stick on this and try and get it in the base game temple of treasure was a big one i remember the release of temple of treasure in the uk it was not the first with the bonus buy, but it was one of the first where you got the pick of, oh, wow. I it's can... our biggest ever viewed video. Yeah, yeah. So you, that's what I mean. You can pick like the spins it gives you, or you can, oh, I'm going to opt for a mystery where you never know. Predetermined. You yeah. never know. But for me, that was, okay, so I'm doing that on a low stake and having fun. But if I can get 15 spins and 10,000 ways on like a two quid bet, then wow, that could go absolutely huge. So then I was pushing for that. You know, I was like base gaming it, trying to get it. Never actually managed to get it from the base game. Loads of bonuses, but never got max max, as we say, from the base game. But because I knew the potential of it, because I bought bonuses on it before, that made me want to play the game to push for that bonus. So in terms of a player, I would opt for the bonus buy option first before playing the game. That's what I used to do. 
And what do you think, uh, you know, what do you, like, um, from, from an audience point of view, you know, like a lot of our audience, a lot of the people that are watching us from the UK uh, are, are still really wanting to watch watch bonus buys. Yeah. What do you think? Obviously, that isn't directly mirroring their play if Correct. they're if they're playing from within the UK <clears throat> and a regulated brand. Yeah. Why do you think that's still really appealing to the to the audience? Why they want to see that? Is it to do Especially, with like the fast forwarding so no, they can kind of like if, see action? I think if we're talking in terms of like a UK player watching a stream where they can't buy bonuses, yeah, they want to see action. So if they want to just jump straight into the bonuses, they can't do that. They can't buy a bonus on next game. They can't buy a bonus on Y game. They can't do super buys. So the excitement for the UK player to see me and say, you know, I'm spinning away, for example, doing the base game on mental. And they're like, well, why are you just not buying it, mate? Why, yeah. why are you just not buying it? Just buy it. Like, well, yeah, you can buy, but you can also spin in the base game. Yeah. So because the option is there for me, I can do the bonus buy. Sometimes I opt not to because that's the easy option of doing the bonus buy. As for reversing that for the UK player, they would always now, if you brought back bonus buys, boom, straight to bonus buy because they haven't had that option for so long now. So I think it is sort of spoon fed to if you can and you can't. Well, listen, for us, you know, launching Dream Spin and, and, and building games, we, we we're very much trying to factor in how we appeal to our core community that we've built up across both channels. Yeah. Um, and we've introduced anti bets to obviously, Correct. you know, hopefully. And I think a lot of providers have introduced an anti bet where it gives you an X amount of chance to get into the bonus round quicker. And as the UK player, they're going to, you know, I click it if I'm playing. Yeah. Because I want to see a bonus. My ultimate goal of playing is getting a bonus. Community. I don't I don't remember the exact numbers, but I think we did a poll on one of the streams and we should do that. It was like 40 or 50%, I think, yeah. were saying that they would yeah. use it. Yeah. They would but, use an anti bet. Yeah. So we've yeah. got that. And obviously we brought in the bonus buy as well because um, we know that from streaming our game, and we'll talk about that in a little bit, and, you know, the benefits of having a channel to stream, we, we, you know, having the ability to showcase those bonuses easily helps. And obviously outside the UK, we, we, we know how popular, you know, that is. And we know there are some players that literally play slots to bonus buy. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. don't play the slots anymore. Jamie mm. doesn't really spin on slots anymore, no, which no. is quite sad to say. He opens the game and he doesn't even check the information or anything. Does it have a buy? Yes. Buy. Okay, it was good. Move on. Okay. Like, he is just all about the buys now. So like it's it's an interesting one. You know, how do you feel, you know, if... For for game providers mm. that are seeing their you know their bonuses being showcased on streams, it, you know how how do you imagine that they feel like when you open up their game and you decide to do a few buys on it? And obviously, we know that it can go terrible. Like you mm. know, we know that you could buy three or four or five in a row, and they could be all terrible bonuses. You know, it, how do you think that that tackles the audience perception of that game? Then do you think that's ruined for the audience if we <sighs> if we buy five bonuses, they're all terrible? Do you think the audience are then like? How quickly do you think the audience turn on it? Just like, no, it's terrible, never yeah, gonna play no, again. Normally I don't I like in in my head I have like a like a maybe a 10 rule or something where okay. I think, okay, I know that this game has a max win of say 10,000 X. And the last five buys I've just done have been 5X, 10X, 15X, 5X, and 3X. Yeah. And I know the viewers looking going, wow, what a game. That's terrible and that is awful. And I'm very much trying to relay to the audience, listen, just because it's given a few bad bonuses does not mean this game is bad. Bear with it. And, you know, the amount of times I've said that and then the next bonus or the bonus after that goes wham and people are like, oh, wow, we see what you mean now. This can really yeah. kick off. It's just, you can't judge a game. Sometimes you can't judge a game on 10 bonuses. No, of You just so. can't because... Do you think that's... Um... It has like a... Like a... It does something weird, doesn't it? Where you're like, oh, that was, that was different. Yeah. Do you think that's really then... important, um, you know, in terms of our channel and, and streaming, the influence we actually have over the audience? Because if you decide or I decide or will decide, we play a game for the first time and we don't like it mm. and we have a few bonuses and we, we actually, even though the, the gate, they don't pay, they might even pay all right, but we, we just don't feel the game. Mm. You know, if we relate that back to, to the audience and say, no, nah, it hasn't done this for me for X, Y, and Z reasons. No, that, that does, I think that it, does uh, yeah. have an effect and vice versa. If we play a game, if you play a game and there are examples of this, and if you can think of actual games and great, if you can't, don't worry, but there must be games that you've played that that you said this this looks good. I can feel that this game can pay, but so the many first, examples. Was the can, yeah, first few days, so many examples. The first stream is terrible. Maybe in the first two weeks, but yeah. you've you've then played it because you think no, this this you know there's something about this. Then yeah. a month later, I don't know if there's a game in your head. And no, so I can th tell you one. That that's was, a big influence. You know, I played one uh, probably going back two or three weeks ago. Now it was a Star Trek game, and yeah. I think it's Light and Wonder. Atlantic Digital. Atlanta Digital. That's the one. Yeah. So. 
Not sponsored, but again, a friend of mine, Alex. <laughs> a big shout out to you. <laughs> yep. Um, so after playing that game, after seeing what setup you could potentially get, I was trying to relay to the audience that this is a brilliant game, but it's just massively volatile, so bear with it. And yeah, they were like, we're not seeing this, Scotty. We're not seeing this. But yeah. me personally, I know that this game will kick off and it can kick off. And I was praying. I was like, look, I'm, I'm giving this game the big end. You know, yeah. again, I don't know the guy who's yeah, made it. I had no yeah. idea. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm just playing this off stream and having a little go of it thinking, this is good. Wow, if you can get this sort of setup, it's going to be massive. And I wasn't getting that setup. And it kept on giving me the minimum setup. And I'm talking bonuses of 2x, 3x, 5x. I'm like, wow, come on. I'm, I'm, this game is good. I know it's good. And people were like, yeah, I can see it might have potential, but no, Scotty, you know, can you play Big Bass Bonanza? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, just bear with it. So after buy, after buy, I finally got a setup where people were like, oh, wow, you know, the multiplier is going up by five and oh, what? it was really kicking off. And then people started to come on board and say, actually, that's pretty decent. They wow. changed their tune quickly. If, it's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. So, and we had that with um, a new relax game, Firewind Factory. Yeah, very extreme, some bad bonuses. Yeah, and I was saying to people, I was saying this is a brilliant game. I'm loving it at the moment, but because I wasn't bonusing it, the chat, it, weren't, keen the chat weren't keen on it. And I was like, listen, just because I'm not bonusing it, or if I did a buy and the buy was 10x, people were like, nah, mate, it's not a great game. And then a week later, I'd, I'd just playing it in the base game and hit like 800x in the bonus. Yeah. And then people were like, wow, what a game. So their perspective, again, is seeing me hit a big win. Yeah. And they're like, actually, that is a pretty good game. But also as like, I do think as a streamer, I probably have the ability to be able to influence people's decisions on whether a game is good or not. So if the game is really, really good, like super, super good, and people love that game, but I'm not too keen on it, I could, if I wanted pretend that game was bad and say, it's not even that good, you know, da, da, da. and people are like, oh, all right, then. Yeah, well, I mean, don't, you and know. you're entitled so to it because a lot of the time it is just personal on preference. Excitement. It's personal preference. Correct, I mean, like, I mean, a lot of them, they're all hitting the same RTP overall. Yeah. So it's difficult yeah. to really discern and say this do you want? Than a, the do other. you want quick bonuses? Yeah, do you want big bonuses? Exactly. Do you, do you want big base game wins? Do you want the game to go on for 20 minutes or do you want a quick in and out job? Well, you know, there, there's, there's some out there for everybody depending yeah. on what you want to see. And, and when it, you're offering, when you're when you're basically delivering a stream and you're you're trying to offer an entertaining, you know, an entertaining video, Video, yeah. like you know, for, for people watching the video, you need to mix it up in the way that's Correct. appropriate. Like a lot of the time, people don't want to sit and just watch bonus after bonus, which does nothing, hoping for that big one. You yeah. need to balance it out with a few games that are going to deliver Correct. medium but levels of excitement. Th there as well. is games that, again, though. I go back to the influence in the audience in a way where you know, I'll say a game like Retro Tapes, such a brilliant game, and I'm pretty sure it has a base game. You know what I mean? But <laughs> because yeah. I've just I go straight into the the super bonus buy of the, is it 400x to buy, I think? Or is yeah. it yeah, yeah, the top level one, yeah. I just go straight onto that, 400x. Is it max win? No, move on. But that's what people <laughs> want to see. The, when I click on retro tapes and start spinning it in the base game, I'll have a thousand people in the chat going, what are you doing? Yeah, well, why are you? What are you doing? What are you spinning it for? I'm like, well. That's you know, also because you've built up something on the channel. Like, Correct. Th th yeah, th but that's what I'm saying. The influence that the slot player has to the audience can it, sometimes it, affect them to be thinking. Well, it's habits you know, as well. Like, yeah. you know, over the last two years, how many times have you ended a stream playing Das X Boot? But 312, I yeah. think. And, you know, that's that's awesome because people are used to seeing Correct. it. So there's a fun element. Obviously, it's a good game. They yeah. wouldn't, you wouldn't still be playing it. Correct. And the community wouldn't be that interested mm -hmm. in watching it. But um, I try not to. I literally say, no Das X Boot tonight, guys. And no, I, I literally it. get a thousand people kicking off with me going, it's Got tradition. It. Got play it. It. Because it's tradition. Like you said, it's yeah. not even to do with other things. There's a million other good games. Well, not maybe not a million other good games. But... But, you know, when we built up a tradition, you know, things like that happen mm. on the channel. But, you know, that moves on to one of the questions we've got, you know, how, 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 how and why, <laughs> you know, studios do do choose to work with streamers. Um, it, it goes back to influence again. I, you know, as a streamer working alongside studios, you can promote their game. It's sort of however they want you to promote their game, especially if it's got a bonus buy. You know, they can say, right, can you showcase the... Can you showcase the base game? If if you don't bonus it in the base game, can you do a couple of bonus buys? But you got to remember, if you're advertising a game, what better way to advertise it than to actual players? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, you know, going off topic a little bit, but, you know, there's a lot, I watch a lot of YouTube golfers and now you're seeing a lot more sponsorship on these golfing channels for, you know, whether it be new clubs, whether it be new equipment, new golf bags, anything, because... We're better for these companies to advertise than the only people who are going to be watching online golf videos on YouTube as are golfers. Like people who are interested in purchasing this equipment or purchasing them clubs. 
and it goes into sort of the same into the slot world as well. If a provider wants me to showcase a game and say, right, can you play this game on stream and see how the audience react? Do the audience like it or not? Then there's no better way to promote a game. It can't be more targeted. You're right. Correct. People like are not the aim watching of targeting. slot streams if they're not into slots. Correct. Yeah. yeah. You but just then, wouldn't. It's not no. enough entertainment. You might be a great streamer and you are. But you're not a stand-up comic. Correct. <laughs> well, I'm yeah, you know, mm. fifty fifty. You know, I dabble. But you're right. If you're if you're watching a slot stream, you are completely engaged. Correct. So, yeah, you, you are. So I'm not going to get a golf brand coming up to me and trying. Oh, do you mind trying yeah, to sell this go golf bag? It's not going to happen. Do you know what I mean? Because on that note, good good hoodie you're wearing. Yeah, yeah. This is one of the um, push wild swarm two. Yeah. Correct. I do actually have some of these to give away. I don't know if they can. Can you believe Scotty has come turned up wearing a B hoodie and it's not Buzz Thrill Dream Spin's first game. But, Nobody knows We've, that. You could have said that's Buzz Thrill no, B. We don't, 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 don't want to get sued by Push Gaming on the podcast. That is Wild Swarm 2. Big up Push Gaming, by the way. Great game. Great game, Wild Swarm 2. I, I think from what from what you're saying there about you know the, the market research um, topic is really important there. You know, in terms of like, it's really I think it's really difficult to uh, for you know businesses within this industry to get actual proper feedback from. Yeah, it's so tough. But what, because because a lot of the time that you know. It, they're just going to get a lot of yes men saying, yeah, that's Correct. a great game. And not, then uh, not, the thing is about our audience is that they will be brutal. Not just that. That's the thing, but the providers, what the people sometimes in the chat don't understand is the providers are watching the streams as well. And yeah. they are seeing you play this game and not only, you know, yeah, 5% they're looking at the game or how it's performing, but they want to see the reaction. The other 95% is they are looking at the chat and thinking, oh, wow, yeah, that game has 100%. got not the reaction we expected. So yeah. then for the next game, they might be thinking, well, that didn't work. And we know because we saw you know, 20 streamers play this game and the audience all had the same reaction of they didn't like that. So the next game... And not just that, not, you know, just, why didn't we, not just why didn't we like it, what they didn't like about it's important. Because Correct. Because when they, you know, <clears throat> you're talking about yes men, the, the data they get back from casinos are just numbers. Yeah. yeah. It's not sentiment. Yeah. It's yeah. just like... This how is how much it won, yeah. this is how much it lost, well, this just, is how many people played it. Not just there that, yeah. How, how many people played it, how many spins they put through, how many times they returned to the game. So that's, that's very important. Yeah. But it doesn't tell you... You know, did they like that feature in particular? Yeah. Was it a slow spin? <clears throat> was it the graphics? Was it the sound? And and yeah. streams literally in front of thousands and thousands of viewers. It can be something that. like it can be something so silly where there's a few games out there like, for example, X Ways Harders, where you click the pigeon and it makes a funny noise, right? Yeah. I'll sit there for five minutes on stream clicking the pigeon, yeah. right? But I can hundred percent guarantee you because I know people will go and play that game just to press the pigeon. Yeah. But they will look at that and go, So do oh, we need to add a gimmick into our just, game? Yeah, but it, it can sometimes help for people to go, oh, that looks well funny. I'll give that a go myself. They'll play the game. They'll, you know, little things can help a long, well, go a long way. Well, what I always want to talk about is just bringing it back to the audience. It's also beneficial for our audience in because in terms of like, you know, showcasing these games. It's not just a one-way street as in it helps the game providers make better games. It's also beneficial to the audience in as much as they get to see different games. Uh, you know, because... Sometimes I feel that like Scotty and I are both, uh, you know, you fell into this trap. Yeah, definitely fell into this trap of like we've got our favourite games, and yeah. all of a sudden we've we've <clears> we <throat> sat there and done some analysis, and we're like, okay, we're maybe playing these games a little bit too much. We know the audience like them, we know that we like them, but you know, part of like we've got a community, and part of the I feel a part of the job of the channel is to kind of like showcase all of the potential products, mm. so people have got a good idea about where they might want to get an entertaining experience the next time they log in. That makes it. You know, unless you're streaming ten late. hours a day, it also makes it so tough. There's so many games Correct. out there now. I remember like we're talking over ten thousand games. Yeah, They're and like you go there. back to like playing some random games that are quite good, and actually you forgot they even existed. Yeah. You know, I, I remember randomly on one of my last streams, I was like, you know, what? I'm I'm gonna think about what I played five years ago, four years ago, and yeah, and that actually, was your last stream, wasn't it? Probably. Well, like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I played a game, and someone's like, wow, and probably got lucky, and the game played well, and they're like, that was a good game, and you just get you lost. do forget because There's yeah, because so you many games. Out Sometimes you're chasing the big wins. Sometimes on, on, if you on a game, if you rate it back and go right, because I remember I've been on like a pretty bad losing run, and so the last few streams, people might have noticed I have gone back to basics, and I've gone right. Do you know what I'm going to play? Ancient Poseidon Megaways in the base game. I'm going to play Terminator Two. I'm going. So some of these games where I'm thinking, do you know what? Some of the bonuses can be okay. The base game's not bad. It can steady it a little bit. So because the games are so high volatile now, sometimes you can go on stream with 3K playing such massively high volatile games in an hour, you bust. Yeah. Right. And the audience doesn't want to see it. The audience wants to at least see you on for two, three hours and have a laugh, play games and stuff. But that's the reality of some of the games nowadays where you can play them. And before you know it, you don't get any big base hits. Mm. You don't get a bonus. And before you know it, 
you've done 100 spins and you're 450 down because you've just not won anything in the base game. You've actually, you brought up a good point that we should touch upon, you know, where, where streaming is now versus where it was when we started. And when we started, you know, <clears> we, we, I'd say we averaged about two pounds a spin, around which was quite high stakes mm -hmm. for, for a new channel. Um, you know, now you just talked about losing 3,000 euros in, in a few hours. Correct. That's actually not normal at all. No, it's not. We're very lucky to be Correct. in a position to do that. And so we like, can afford to do that, which, you know, a lot of people out there definitely 100% don't imitate us, don't do no. what we do. But but yeah, so talking about it, you know, like how, how do you find that, you know, trying to keep up with what's going on in the streaming world? You know what's going on and we can briefly, you know, discuss it, you know, with crypto streamers, some of the guys from... Um, I say North America or now in Canada and, mm -hmm. and playing with, you know, we're talking about seven figure balances. So viewers are used to seeing hundred thousand wins. Do you, do you find it hard now? Like, you know, when we're streaming and we go back to three euros and we're getting a 300 X win, which is 900 and that's the cost of someone's spin. Like, yeah, I mean, it, like, how, how do you find it? The fact that we can lose three, 4,000 euros quite regularly on stream now. And it's, it's sort of now normal for us. Yeah. So like, <clears throat> I had to explain. So the swings are so much different now than they were at the beginning. So as for if I had a bad stream, let's say four or five years ago, I'd be like, wow, I've just lost 1K in three hours. That was brutal. How did that happen? I didn't get any bonuses. And like you say, it's it's come to now. Wow, I've just lost 3K, 4K in two hours. That was even more brutal. And that, again, that goes on the volatility of the games that are and, and now being released. And when you go into like crypto streaming and you know, what these guys are, you know, are allegedly spinning, it's, I'm still not seeing these guys get excited for a win. Yeah. So yeah, genuinely you can, excited, you can yeah. genuinely do a 50,000 pound buy a hundred thousand pound buy. You do you boys, you know, if you're, if that's what you like and that's what you're enjoying, which you, which you're not, because there's no excitement. Their excitement's gone. How high do you try and outdo each other? So you've just do you not feel the pressure? No, no pressure whatsoever. Beca no, because people. When I say you know, pressure, I mean in terms of like raising stakes, trying to keep up with other channels. No, because I'll raise the stakes to what the balance is. Do you know what I mean? So like, you mean I'm, what we can afford? Yeah, it's it's not. I know that I am never gonna do a ten thousand pound buy. If I had the balance, I still wouldn't do a ten thousand pound buy. It's not relative. It's not, you know, it's just as exciting to me winning a max win on fifty p on retro tapes, winning five k as it would be getting a max win on, you know, a five euro bet on you know, any other game and winning like a hundred thousand, obviously winning a hundred thousand is like, wow, you know, but the excitement is still there. And as long as the excitement's there and you're having fun, then surely that's okay. got to count for something in the streaming world. But okay, I'm, I'm trying to say, how high do you go? I've got an interesting question for you though. This is an interesting Crack one. On. Okay, okay. So you're enjoying like probably one of the largest UK audience, maybe the largest live streaming UK audience. Yeah. Uh, for, 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 for slots content. Thank you for that, by the way, everybody. No? Much appreciated. Yeah, yeah. Thanks to everyone. And like, it's credit to you. Um, do you think, do you think that if you were doing crypto level stakes, mm -hmm. you would be top of the crypto, uh, you know, would you be worldwide number one? Without wanting to blow your own trumpet or anything like that, do you think that in any way it's it's kind of restrictive? You can't compete in terms of like these kind of um, alleged balances. I, would you do better if you were doing $1,000 spins <laughs> in terms of audience viewership numbers and stuff like that? That's a tough one to say again, because I think if I all of a sudden went from doing what I'm doing now to $100 spins, I think I'd lose a lot You'd of audience, people, yeah. all right? Yeah. I might gain some audience, but what's important to me is the community we've built as Fruity Slots. They mean a lot more to me, keeping them entertained and, and doing the, what we can afford to do as a business rather than jumping on the saying, right, it's not, you know, again, it's, it's, it's got to be exciting. It's got yeah, to be, be, be genuine. It's, it's got to be, be genuine. exciting. And yeah. that to me, like 99.9% .9 of people watching cannot do a fifty thousand pound bonus <laughs> buy, but well, they know like you've we've, got we've to also use. Got, we've got to be realistic though Correct. as well. Most people, even the states we're doing, isn't. It's more relatable to our audience, Correct. but they're not spinning at what we're spinning. That that's true, but also people do see as a channel. If I am going on a bad run and I am seriously being hit hard. I'll lower the stakes. Yeah, correct. I go down and to two euro. I go to three. Don't get me wrong. You know, it is much more normal. We see on our forum people posting wins at the bet sizes we're doing. It, you know, it's it's not their regular, but they mm. they they all raise it as well. They'll have runs yeah. where they're doing well but and then they you, go you, from two to three what, to five. What, I think Will touched on a point. It's like you're doing a, a fifty thousand pound bonus buy, okay, and then 
this other streamer does a hundred thousand pound bonus buy, and then this other streamer does a two hundred, and then you're max winning at ten million, <laughs> right? Yeah. Literally, you you are max winning. You are winning ten million. All right. So what next? Someone wins twenty million. Where does it stop? Does it stop when a streamer wins a billion? Probably stops when the, the when, provider caps the, it, yeah, the caps yeah, the, when the that bet pro- size. That's what I'm saying. So when that provider caps the bet size, yeah. and then that max win is hit, and it's never gonna go any higher. Well done, boys. You've, you've peaked. Yeah. You've reached Mount Everest. You've hit it. Now what? Are Inter- oh, you gonna go back and play that game tomorrow and yeah. try and get that max they win are. again? It says a lot that they do turn up the next day that's, that's instead what of I mean, having a like, holiday when they've won ten million yeah, and for, take for, a break. For me, the exciting part is how many times do you see a max win on stream? Yeah, never. You know, you know, retro tips, yes, but you're paying a lot for the bonus. You do see max wins on games here, there, and everywhere, but like a natural max win, very, very rare. Do so you, when you hit it, how excited do you get? You know, I'm, I'm swinging around and I'm lying mm. on the floor, my feet are up in the because I'm, I'm do genuinely you, excited. And I think if I was to move up and start doing 1,000 buys, 10,000 buys, it, it, you lose the value of what you are doing in, in a way. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't appeal to me, but then I'm also aware that there probably is, like I would say that there is a, a legitimate kind of like um, crossover in some of our viewers. I, w- I don't know what percentage it would be. But there will be some of our viewers that, that will watch our streams and they'll also watch the crypto guys. Mm. You know, it's all content. There's crossover all Correct. over. All and I over think a lot of the place. viewers, I mean, I, I know personally, because I know quite a lot of viewers, that watch for the streamer and not, yeah. you, you know, I, I'm pretty sure I'm confident enough in myself that I could sit on stream and do 20 cent bets, 50 cent bets, spin at a pound. And I don't think I'd lose my audience. I'm pretty sure I'm entertaining enough with my silly stories. And, you know, you are, you are I, 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 do, I do think that genuinely I would keep the audience. Now you would get a few that are like, I'm not massively too keen on these stakes, but then for every person you'd lose because I'm lowering the stakes and I'm spinning lower, You'd get viewers in and thinking, oh, this is more relatable. I'm going to watch this. So it's six of one, half dozen of the other. If yeah, I mean, the stakes which we're choosing is, are a balance of like, uh, uh, you, you know, kind of like trying to keep it viable, trying to keep it real money, mm-hmm. because that's really important. You know, and that's, that underlines be. all of our community. But that, that's what goes with the emotion of, of streaming. If you, you're streaming with real money, with what we, which is what we do, the emotion is there. Yeah. And then the second you aren't using real money, Where's the, where's the cap? Where do you go? I'm, yeah, I'm spinning at ten euro. I'm spinning at twenty. I'm spinning at fifty. Yeah, I've just won ten grand. It becomes a show, and it's become, yeah, it be- and, and that's what it is. It becomes entertainment, and the the gamble factor's gone. Then, isn't it? You are then just a performer. Moving on, what audio? Well, you know, what sort of games that we're going to build as Dream Spin, which you know you're going to be part of. Um, mm-hmm. What do you think the games they want to see, and what's important for us to deliver to them? Because you know, it's all well and good maybe building a game that the operator or the casino once, but mm-hmm. we have our, not necks on the line, literally our faces on the line, which other mm-hmm. studios don't have. So, you know, coming into this, from our perspective, really unique to be the only um, streaming sort of channel, we, you know, I think that exists that, that have then gone to actually have their own studio. We know other streamers have built games with studios, but to have their own studios. So we've got our faces on the line as such. So, you know, what, what do you think our audience wants to see and what sort of games, you know, do you want to see Dream Spin build? and make games without a zero X bonus. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think that the, the possibility of the, the volatility is a big thing. Now we know, we know how big a volatility thing is now. If you're going to bring out a game in today's market, it's got to, to compete. It's got to be up there with, you can achieve, not, I'm going to say easily achieve because that word's wrong, but you can achieve the thousand X wins. The two thousand X wins, and yeah, whatever. I think uh, you know what it's important that you said can <clears throat> achieve it because yeah, actually displaying a max win because every game says correct says it versus actually what is achievable correct. not not even max win just yeah. a thousand X achievable versus displaying is is a yeah. massive difference. Like, there what, are games years ago that would say ten five. There's never yeah. been seen. Razor Shark, seen. you know, I think Razor Shark's max win, for example, was fifty thousand X, and then they had to change that because somebody actually won more than that. So like. But is that achievable? Right, one person's done it in billions and billions of spins, but is it actually achievable? So in terms of what, you know, what people would want to see from Dream Spin or what I personally would want to see would be your max win is X. Is it achievable? Yes. Am I going to get the max win? Probably not because it's going to be very rare to get a max win. You know what I mean? Let's be honest here. Probably not. Getting a, ma- getting a max win is going to be tough on any game, yeah. Yeah, it, which it is. But is it achievable? Yes. Has it been seen? Yes. You know, so 
I'd I'm, like... a, I'm actually a bit disappointed in the way, not disappointed, but put back by the way that I've been to seminars recently about streaming and yeah. game providers and with other streamers on on panels. And I said, what, what, you know, what do you want in the game? And I hate the fact that Max Win is even bought up a lot. Yeah. What I, it's like... That's the market though, isn't it? That, that's what people it is, want it, to see it, now. There can it's... be so much more to a game than Correct. what is its Max Win. Correct. Like said, it's, we, we know it's that. What's we know that. It's you, what's achievable is what's, give, what counts. The game's still got to be entertaining. It's Correct. got to have playability. Yeah. It's, got to, it's got to last. People got to want to spin it. You know, the max max wins great, but you know, you put put on a hundred to one bet or a yeah. thousand to one bet. If you Correct. Go yeah. and play roulette, and yeah, like, yeah. it becomes to a bets. point where it, like the max win is actually more of a lottery than it is yeah. like a, than it is actually. It, it, it is. You hear that experience. word, and actually, if you only build a game around a max win, then good luck producing yeah. a good game. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And it's sometimes so you lose the quality that. of your game by upping the ante of that max win. Yeah, it's achievable, but we've lost all quality in the game build. So it's got to have a bit of everything. You've got to keep. The quality of your game, you've got to keep the colour, the look, the the way it spins, the you know, the music and the all these things are a big factor in a game. And one thing can sometimes ruin the game as a whole. Like I've played games before which I'm like, oh, this is brilliant. I'm loving this. But the music in the background is draining me. I'm like, oh, I can't, yeah. can't listen to this. I need to move on. Yeah. But then at the same time, I played a game that I'm like, this isn't that good. But then the music in the background is like, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, keep okay. it going. Okay. I'm in, I'm in. Remember that. Know. We'll put some rumba, rumba so, soundtracks in the next game. That's what I'm game. saying. Get in the, the get in. All it's, these things together and right. trying to build a game and getting it right it's is tough. not easy. So it's just it secret is, sauce as far as you can say. It's, there's no it's kind of like absolute it recipe. Is, yeah, no, no yeah, it. you've got to put in a bit of this and a, a bit that, of that. But, to but make, that's hopefully you know. as streamers and using you Correct. as well and using everyone within Dreamspin, within Fruity Slots, within Hideous Slots, come together to actually get that secret recipe and, and because that's we what play we're saying, games. We play games and we. I'd like to think we know what the viewers like. We know what they'd like to see. And, and that is volatility. It is big wins, but at the same time, it is, all right, the bonus isn't massively hard to get. And all right, the bonus doesn't always pay massive, but that was a decent enough bonus. It was fun. Do I want to come back to the game? Yes, I do. You know, it's about trying to build a game that, that everybody would like. and, and yeah, it's, it's impossible. You can't keep it. Not everybody like, but it's got a bit of everything is yeah. what I mean to say. It, that it, it, I mean, for, for me, the magic word is potential. Yeah. You know, because if you can't give them the max win on stream, we hear a lot. They want to see the potential. Mm. You play a game bonus three, four, five times and they say, okay, that one's good. I can see how that game might do that. Correct. And you know, as a player, you play a game. Yeah. You talked about it earlier with the game. If I get this set up, the potential's there. Mm -hmm. So it's very much about, you know, playing a game and saying, okay, my experience wasn't great in terms of the wins or losses, but I enjoyed it and I could see, Correct. you know, this game's got yeah. potential. But when someone turns around, we've had it already on, on in our audience when they're talking about Buzzfrill coming out, you know, the amount of times people said, what's the max win? It's like, yeah, that, that's, that's, but that, that's, that's a boring yeah, but question. Because that's the market, What about the rest that's of the game? Pe that's what people are... That's part of the market. Th yeah, but that's yeah. what people are, are seeing now. People are seeing Max wins and when people are bringing out the highlight video, it is I think Max that's because there's on, an, you know, I, it's... I think, unfortunately, because there's an expectancy as streamers, they think we're going to produce something really volatile Correct. with a crazy max win of yeah, 10,000, yeah. 50,000, yeah. maybe even 100,000 X. And actually, yeah. yeah, we could do, but like, that can kill a game. Yeah, and, and, and then you are going to get a lot more zero X bonuses than what yeah, you're, you know, than what you get now. Because if you're going to bring out a game with a thousand, a hundred thousand, like look at Dead or Alive 2. Yeah, you've got the potential to win that, but are you going to win that? And also, no. you're probably not going to get a casino that takes it. Yeah, anymore. and how many times but, are you going to get bonuses which are 10x because of the potential of of that game? Is yeah, I mean, the second biggest question that we've had um, is is after how much it can win is like, where am I going to be able to play it? And yeah. like, it's, ironically, the two things are actually are proportional because like, if we say it's got a a hundred thousand x max win the places that you're going to be able to play it are fewer and fewer yeah, exactly. you know, and they're especially in the uk not, they're not going to be regulated in the UK. <laughs> yeah. yeah nice okay let's uh let's finish with light-hearted easy question then you've been a great guest as you would have been oh, sorry as we expect um top five or top three favorite slots of all time jam and jazz and reacting so i'm going to say jam and jazz and i used to say jam and jazz before i got the big win if you haven't seen it, check it out. Yeah. What was it? It's like, yeah, I can't remember. 15,000 X? Yeah, it was like 80, just short of 80K, wasn't it? On a, what, five euro bet? Mm, yeah, it was, that Massive. was big. But I, that was my favorite game before that win. React Tunes, just the... Anyone that's watched this yeah, knows just that React answer. Tunes, man, it's like, again, you talk Why? about... What's good about React Tunes? Oh, the... Just, I just like colorful things. 
Yeah. Just like colorful things, the noise, it do, 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 just. So that, for, I'm, I'm that game, it's, 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 not the, it's not the potential on that game, then. It's the actual no, production. What is the, what, yeah, what is it's the biggest win you can get no, on no, Reactor? Really really you said, it, you said it before. You actually said it ten, well, a few minutes ago. Yeah, everything's got to work. Correct. And in that game for you, everything works. Um, it, Music, everything. production, wins, everything works. animation, yep. sound. Works for me. Wins in there. Getting yep. that top level, the potential of like the setup. Yeah. Because it's achievable. Because if you get like times two pinks, as it's called, and you get the 1500X, that's achievable. I've had that seven or eight times on yeah. stream, off stream, it is achievable. And when you don't get it, you can see it. Correct. You, you can so see the setup. You can see the, the bars building up, building up. You're like, I'm close, I'm close, yeah. I'm close. And yeah, you go, oh, God, no. But then at the same time, right, I've got Gaggy. Here we go. Oh, it's demolitioning. Is it going to give pinks? Like, the excitement's there. Like, it can... Already, I'm, I'm already playing React tunes in my head and I go through the emotions of, I've got Gaggy out, please be pinks. And then it's like, oh, no, it's not. But it's achievable and you know it, it is possible to get. So if we can ever do a uh, React Tunes clone or something up then there, I then I am getting a bot, baby. Well, I am getting a bot. Both of those games, both of the two games you said so far, both been like sort of grid games, cluster games, really. Yeah. So um, and is there one more? If we have to slip in a third? If we have to slip in a third... Oh, uh, put me under pressure here, boys. I'm going to say Wild, Wild Swarm, I think. Oh, really? Okay. Another yeah. push game. Mm -hmm. Not Opal Fruits. Opal Fruits, Opal Fruits is, makes the top 10. Yeah, it's God tier. God tier. <laughs> it is God tier. I'm, sorry, I'm pushing you down, yeah. Opal Fruits. It is to God tier. To be fair, Opal Fruits is probably not my top three, but it's a top yeah. 10 game for And me. I'm going to go Wild Swarm again. It's the the colours are brilliant. The the noises the bees make, the the whole building up the hive. Wearing the hoodie. I love the fact yeah. that he's talking about the production because like, you know, it, because you understand it's not just about whether you're winning or not. And, you, and you, your answers aren't just like, oh, I had this huge win. It's just like, okay, it's the experience. The experience. Yeah. Push makes some great games. So, so not only that, but they are keeping me playing that game because I've filled the swarm. Yeah. So I have just done 300 spins of dead spins. Why am I still excited? Because the swarm can pop at any time. Yeah. So it keeps me okay. like, the excitement levels are up there already thinking, all oh, right, I've just lost that. Right, right. Okay. I've lost, but I could still win because this, the, the, it can pop at any time. I love the excitement. That's why Scott is a streamer. You can it. see he's I am about about so he loves it. Let's, should we go do a stream? I let's think go, let's yeah. go straight. Let's we should go, go gamble. <laughs> we'll go, let's go and gamble. Let's go and have a little, little cheeky little, uh, go on what we're going to do. React tombs times two pinks. Yeah. Then we'll go and pop the swarm and then we'll just get the extra fourth jar in there on jam and jars for a laugh Beautiful. as well. Guys and girls again, thanks for watching. Gamble yeah. responsibly. Always. Always. Um, Scotty, Fruity Slots, great streamer. Um, probably, hopefully, see more of him. I was going to say on another podcast, but definitely uh, on the channel and hopefully a big part of Dream Spin. When we're going to be making our games, or well, we are making the games, obviously, Scotty's input is valuable. Having someone that's played every type of game, every type of mechanic, um, all types of features, you know, really leaning into who we've got involved in the company to shape our games is so key. Um, hopefully we end up building great games that you love playing on the channel. Definitely. That's what's most important. Um, see you on the next podcast, people. Hope you enjoyed it. Cheers, guys. Bye, guys.